So, I've been told that I have a bad tire on my Case W2303 Windrower. Yeah, I've had this thing since 2009, and 2008, not 2009, 2008, and it's had the same tires on them, and they're actually getting pretty bald from road use and just use in general. Well, what's happening is these are not radial tires, and they are splitting. Okay, so what I did yesterday was I actually put some uh, bead sealer in there just to see what would happen with it. And of course, it doesn't, bead sealer is not an adhesive. Then there's really nothing I can do to this to make it stay sealed up. So I was thinking, you know, what can I do? You know, I've seen guys plate pieces of steel over there to hold a crack shut. And I'm like, God, I don't really want to do that. But. For Halloween, or a belated Halloween, I was thinking to myself, you know what, I got hog rings. Yeah, hog rings. Like, you know what hog rings are? Well, I'll tell you what hog rings are. Hog rings are little metal, little metal pieces that keep hog rings, or hogs, from rooting. And you stick these things in their little snouts. These guys right here. Why can't I find this thing? Okay, you take this thing here and you stick it in their snout and then it hurts when they root. It keeps them from rooting. So they're, they're hog rings. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that hog ring and I'm going to run a dozen of them down the side of that thing and see if it'll hold that split shut. For two reasons. One, it's going to drive my dad nuts. And two, I think it'll look cool as hell. So let's get started. I doubt that it's going to have any positive effect on the tire. But we're going to try it just for the sheer fun. And I bought these things a while back for my R model Mac, okay? And honestly, I have never used hog rings before. Kind of weird, but I never have. So we're going to give it a we're going to give it a shot. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I'm pretty sure if I can get that thing to enter that rubber, which it's not going to. Nope, it ain't going to enter. No, they don't enter the rubber. Damn it. Okay. We'll scratch that idea. We'll scratch that idea. No hog rings going in there unless I can figure out a different way of doing it. And then they're actually pretty soft, so I don't even think they would hold either. Yeah, let's see. I got hog ring pliers and no way to hog ring it. Alright. Oh well. Shoot. Well, I'm going to post this anyway, and we'll just call it a fail, right? But I don't fail that often. I hate failing. It's stupid to fail. So I'm going to come up with another pair of pliers and see what I can come up with with the hog rings. Okay, let's go there. with round two on this thing. I've actually straightened out the... Uh, there. I've actually straightened out the, uh, the metal or the barbs on these hog rings. And now what I'm doing... Is I'm going to squeeze them suckers in there as far as I can, get them, and see what happens. Can you believe that? Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I can tell you right now, it certainly is worth the try. Huh. Let me uh, answer that real quick. Okay, so I've been talking on the phone and putting hog rings in this tire, as you can probably not see. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. I really don't. I just figured, you know what? If you don't know, you'll never, if you don't try, you'll never know, right? So I decided that I'm going to try something different that I've never seen before. And the hog ring pliers do not work, by the way, for this application. Um... I'm sure my father's going to look at me and say, you, you're freaking nuts. You, you need to go to the damn psychiatrist. You're freaking nuts. So, anyway, here it is. I'm just going to hammer these into the rubber just a little bit, get them started. Then I take this pair of pliers, which I've been doing now for about ten times, and I'm thinking it might work. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm just trying to get as much grab on this as I can, and I did glue it, that um, 
rim sealer. Who knows? I figure if I throw maybe one more of these up in here. Yeah, one more of these up in here and it might work. The, uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of tire guys that are watching this and saying, oh, this guy's fucking nuts, which I may very well be nuts. But uh, this tire won't split out. It won't blow up from the hog rings. This is a, like a 10-ply tire. As a matter of fact, I believe it is a 10-ply. This is a 21L28, which I think is supposed to be 30-pound air in it, which I do have in there now. 21, I like 23L6, 26, but 21L28. So, yeah, all I'm trying to do is hold that crack shut. That's all. But the cord isn't broke, so even without these things in here, it isn't going to blow up. I, it was ran underinflated, and when you run them underinflated, they've developed cracks. So, I'll give you a close-up look of it. And I'm going to deem this the Frankenstein tire, which this is probably going to get caught on dirt and mud and stuff like that. But it's quite solid. So, yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I failed or succeeded? I'll give it a shot, and I'll come back at you in a few days uh, after use. But this tire will be replaced before next year anyway. So, I just want to get through the rest of this season with this and see what happens. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll check it out in a few days. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't think I'm a jackass. Just say I'm a visionary. A visionary.